Stop! Wait! Wait! When he rolls, we pull him up. Right, go! Now! Right, let's pull! Let's go, he's slipping, he's sliding. Keep him going. Right. Keep him going. Keep him going. All right. Keep him going, pull! All right, rest. All right, what have we got to cover his eyes? Sure. I'm getting it now, I'm getting And tape. Go there, Tommy. Uh, uh, come in front. If you're going to work with them, you're always in front. Just look, Tommy. Tommy. Russ. Don't, yeah. Tommy. That's no, fucking no, no, close. No. Close, <laughs> Go! And again! One more. He's right. Right. No, no, go that way, Tommy. Ah, uh, wait. Fuck. There we go. We'll get out. Go, 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 go. Go! Out the back gate. Out the back gate. Hello. What you doing? Come on. <laughs> Come on up, you come. <laughs> Pretty wild animals, like they get a bit of pace on them. Come on. Come on. You come. Just tire her out a bit. Come on. You come. Here we come. Up you come. You're stuck now, aren't you? Oh, you're going to come around that way. Come on. Come on, hope you come. They have a burst of energy. So they get really excited to start with and they'll have that burst of energy and then they'll sort of start calming down after that. But she's straight on the attack mode from the get go. And then once she sort of starts calming down, she realizes what's going on. She'll, she'll just sit there and wait. Pretty wild though that you can interact with crocs in the wild like that, eh? Oi, come on. Over you come. Okay, this one's bone cruncher. Come on. That's enough. He's hot. Three and a half, four meters. Come on. There you go. Come on. He's a little bit handicapped underneath his mouth there. He's had his jaw totally ripped off by another croc. And he's actually lost this other eye here. Come on. Come here. Come on. Up you come. Up you come. Come on. That's it. Whoa. Wait. What are you doing? You want to come up? You're not going to. You want to come up? Who says you can't train a crocodile? Uh -uh. No, just stay. We're showing everyone your eye. If you have a look in here, he's lost one eye. That's because he goes out in this main lagoon here and he goes out and tries to play with the big boys. That doesn't work out too well for you, does it? Hey? Eh? No. Uh -uh. Stay. Ooh, that's enough. He knows my behaviour and I know his. Now it's a beautiful thing, but it's only a one in a million thing that ever happens with a human and a crocodile. So guys, don't go up to a crocodile, a saltwater crocodile in the wild, and think that you can do this. You lose an arm or your life in a heartbeat. Sort of moving around. Stay there. You can just see here. Uh -uh. Come here. Come on, up you come. How they're so remarkable being able to come back and um, survive after such a brutal 
sort of uh, dismember. And, um, uh-uh, come here. So he's just trying to go back into the water. Uh-uh. When we got him, he was quite uh, quite skinny, so we've really jammed the food into him. He's beefed out, he's healthy. He got a bit of this green algae on him, but that's just normal for crocodiles in in this sort of environment, you know. Even I don't like the tickles, so uh, and they'll just build that algae up. But I don't have too many staff members that want to come down and give him a scrub down. So, so all these guys with busted snouts like that, they have trouble staying underwater and keeping the, um, and like literally keeping their heads out of water. So anything with a busted snout, and even the old. Look at this little crocodile here. It came from uh, Melbourne, a little rescue croc. It's not very big, but she's uh, a little bit feisty. Spider, get out. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Wow. <laughs> she's got a little bit more sting to her than the rest of them. Come on, up oh, here. There it is. Grab it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Love your crab. Down a little crocodile. A bit feisty though. Nuts that one. Here we go. Come on. Ah, come back here. Come back. Come back. Come back. So, it's just like a big fish. You just got to be nice and steady. Otherwise, those prongs will pull out. There we go. That's what we're wanting. There we go. You right? Come on. Come on, girl. Okay. Okay, I'll let her turn around. Let her turn. There we go, pull tight now. You got it? Beautiful. All right, now we've got the head rope over the top of this croc here. Leave her sitting in the water so she doesn't stress too much, keep the pressure on. It's not the big one that I thought was here, but it still is a, a good little crocodile that will move out of here, put back in the main lagoon. Clear, one, two, three. Go again, go again. Okay, you got her? There we go, you right? Yeah, press it on. So this size crocodile doesn't eat cattle, you've got a tight mate. Yeah, got a tight. Wouldn't be eating cattle, but what they do is rip a nose off, take the tails off, make them unsaleable. So they just cause a few little dramas. One little crocodile here. That one's been uh, pretty battered and bruised. Okay, beautiful. Okay, it's not a massive crocodile. We're still chasing quite a large animal out here, but we're just cleaning this water hole out a bit. Let's stop there. Stop them uh, chewing on a few of the cows around the place. So, I'll grab, uh, grab what we can tonight. So ideally, you wanna bring the head of that crocodile up, see how its head's sitting there like that. We don't wanna get bitten. Keep it up there, will it? That's it. Keep it there. Keep it there. Look how sharp those teeth are there. All right. So we went out today. We tried to get her into this area. It was too hard with so much um, so much weed around and the best time to catch crocodiles is at night time. And you see how you can just get up so close at night. <clears throat> Even with the noise of the airboat, you can still get up on them. Once we can secure a little bit of tape over this crocodile, it's a lot safer. So what we're looking for at night time is the eye shine on these, on these crocs are quite easy to find and identify at night. A lot easier than the day. One, two, three. Kick up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You can see that prong there, how it's just sitting in a bit of that loose skin. That's exactly what it's meant to do. And this is sort of the area that you want to aim for around this sort of soft bit of meat. 
bit of skin and then we'll pull that out in a minute all right have a look at that look at all this damage probably caused by another croc all that um big hole in the side but these crocodiles are so resilient and they heal up i can't hit them face on otherwise i'll get that pole through me I'll just see we pull that back yeah, there leb i lost him for a couple of seconds yeah no you're up. Right. okay took a little bit to catch that crocodile had a couple of goes it um, had a fair old run, but it is tired, so it won't be giving up too much fight. We're right in the shallows here, we're in the mud. It's doing this mad death roll down here. No, oh, I can't, it's hooked on its tooth. There we go. Beautiful. That was a fair old chase. We managed to catch him. Whoa. This is the most dangerous part of this catching these crocs is tying them up so you can see willows there got so much um all of his strength holding this crocodile down now death rolls the right way for me but it is definitely one of the most dangerous parts of catching these crocs because it's where they're so quick within a uh, lightning fast so grab hold of your hand and just tear it clean off Yep. Oh, watch this one next to us. Time up here, mate. Yep. There you are. Little boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up you come. All right, so this one is Bone Cruncher. We've had him here for a while now. Come on. Up you come. Um, as you can see, he's a bit handicapped though, so, come on, come here, alright, so you can see his bottom jaw here, alright, so he's still got his teeth there, but they've been mashed in with each other, like he'll still be able to close his jaw, I'm not going to go stick my hand in there, but he's got these, the teeth are there, but because of his jaw, when it got tore off, it's dislodged his jaw, and now his teeth, instead of mashing in together, they're sort of smashing on each other and they're sort of smashing it down. So he's got some pretty bad dental problems. March flies eating your eyes again, mate. Come on, up you come. Come on, up you come. Come on, ow. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. There you go. Fix that. Come on, up you come. Oi. Come on. There you go. Come on, up you come. Oi. Up you come. Ah, that's enough. That's enough. So you can see the condition of him. He's quite a healthy croc. And you can see his tail there has been um, chewed on a little bit. But, you know, we get him out. We have a good look at him. He's in good nick. He's got a lot of meat up here around his sort of torso there. And his jowls are looking quite good as well. So he's healthy. He's happy. He's getting himself a good feed. And it's going to be a lot easier as this water starts dropping down for him to um, get a good food source. A lot of turtles are gonna be around. He would just sit there and just clump, clump, just chew them down like a, like a little Tim Tam. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oi, come on, gal. Come on, come on, Oi. Come on. She's had a fight as well. Come on. So that as it gets shallower, they get a little bit more timid. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, up you come. And you see the scar at the, behind her neck? Come on. So something's been down here. That's why she's a little bit timid now. Come on. So she's only a little girl, but she's had a fair old battle since I've last seen her. So you can see her just here on the top jaw. You can see there, there's a little mark. Up the back of her head, there's another little mark. So I don't know if that other that other croc that took off from here was her or um, another big one. Um, not for a while. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Have you come? Have you come? Oi, come on. Hello. So he's our 
big male that hangs in the area. Yeah, yeah. So he sort of reacts on movement. Any big, large sort of shapes, he'll come up. That's only about three foot of water here, so he could come up. So we'll use this bag, right? Let's hope it doesn't. Cameraman's bag. Here you go, buddy. Oi, look at that. Come on. What's that? Hey, nah. So he won't come up. That's good when he's hanging around. He's sort of the boss in this area. Aren't you, mate? Hmm?